Right. We're trying to make the perfect five tool player of all time in Major League Baseball. That's right. We're going to take the five tools, power, contact, speed, arm, fielding. Yes. We're each going to select a player that we think is best suited for each of those mm -hmm. strengths. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to make the image, the perfect image of a five tool ball player. But before we get to that, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Yes. Leave us a comment. Hit that like button. And uh, tell your friends about our podcast, man. Yeah, and also, you know, do you agree with our choices? I don't know yet, man. I don't know what your choice is. You know what I mean? Will you agree with our choices? Mm. Shall we? Let's do it. All right. What's the first one on the ledger? I think we should start with... I'm going to go with arm. You want to go, go with arm? You want to do an arm? I'm good with arms. First of all, should we start with a base? Of a baseball player, uh, like a position, you mean? like just the body to add body parts. Oh, okay, sure. So, in your mind, what is the image of a, of the perfect player? I think we already know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I was setting you up for that, man. Um, uh, I would. Choose, oh, oh, I know, I know, Bartolo Colon. Right? Uh, no, okay, Bartolo. his face maybe. Bart Colon, that is a beautiful face. Yes, A Rod. Sure. All right, let's go with A Rod. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I'm an A-Rod fan. I'm not afraid to say it. Support the guy in everything he does. Wish he was here right now. Yeah, I wish he could know how I feel. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Specifically to uh, Alex Rodriguez, who has uh, <laughs> three daughters. You think A-Rod's better? Uh, Otani's better than A-Rod? No. Otani's at the mound. A-Rod's at the plate. Who wins? A-Rod. All right, cool, man. So let's start with arm. Arm. You want to go first or want me to go first? Go first. All right. So my pick for arm is going to be Sir Ichiro Suzuki of the Seattle Mariners. Ichiro Suzuki, man. Let's see this here. I mean, look at this arm. That is one of the best throws I've ever seen. Frozen rope. But you know what I got to do, man? I'm going to go with. Vladdy Guerrero, mm. my favorite arm, one of my favorite players of all time. One of the legends. Yeah. When you have a highlight dedicated to just the throws that you've made in your career, you know your arm is good. Here it is. My God. My goodness. Where did that rocket come out of? <laughs> that was a comet out of the sky, man. Well, somebody called Russia. <laughs> I think we're at war. <laughs> Vladdy and Pela has... Throwing the rockets the home plate. That was a meatball. He's such a like a like a a monster. Yeah, like his body, like the way he stand, everything about him. So you saw two videos there, essentially. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to say that the Vlad video, if we're gonna compare it that way, is more impressive than the Ichiro video. Um, because Ichiro was, his momentum was going toward third base. He was kind of midway between the wall and the infield. He hit a frozen rope, but Vladimir was, that ball went up high. Yeah, he had to yeah. come back down and still he only, launch he didn't, it. He didn't really get a momentum run no. to make that throw. Yeah, and it yeah. looked like he did it with ease. So yeah, let's give him A-Rod, uh, a man. God damn. Let's give him uh, Vlad's arm. I'm, I'm in agreement with you, man. Vladimir Guerrero. And as my friend Lewis here attempts to crop out Vladimir Guerrero's arm, I'm going to talk to you about Vladimir Guerrero a little bit. Yeah, man. <laughs> Vladimir Guerrero is great, man. Yeah, Hall yeah. of Famer, what, two years ago? I'm going to go with two years ago. It's a great arm. Yeah, I think it was like three years ago. Two, three years ago. Um, the guy is as humble as they come. If you follow him on Instagram, you'll likely see him in his hometown in the Dominican Republic, and he's just kind of in the community, man. And this guy's, like, one of the greats. Um, but, yeah, man, we'll never see another hitter like Vlad. Maybe his son, Toronto Blue Jays star, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I want to I want to partake in this uh, convo, convo, but I'm focusing. How do I shift focus? Oh, here we go. There it is. But it's really hard to... Ladies and gentlemen, we're not paid by Pick Monkey to use this. If anything, we use we pay for Pick Monkey to use this. So 
if you know anyone at PicMonkey, let them know that we're giving them free advertising dollars here as CT uses his tongue and his hand to erase Vladimir Guerrero. Um, PicMonkey does the body good. There's probably like a option for this, but you know, I want to, I want to, I just want to isolate. That's beautiful, man. I just want to. I would have kept it <laughs> personally. I would have kept that. And I, I can sense the pressure you're feeling right My now. My art teacher used to tell me, you should do art. Yeah, I agree. But just on the way you're erasing this, if you guys can see the level of expertise that it takes. He's a perfectionist, guys. You see that? <laughs> um, you are one funny guy, man. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave that. That looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty good. Accept it. That's it. We're not going back. Let me get the sides that are here. Here we go. Here I go. have a reputation for being a stickler, but the fact of the matter is, nobody's a stickler like Lewis here. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh. Wow, I mean, that just does not look physically possible. Oh wow. <laughs> this guy looks like a chicken, man. <laughs> hey, man. Wait until you got the ears, man. And what exactly is he holding here? Oh yeah, what happened? Oh, A Rod's bat is a. Uh... We'll give him a bat. We'll give him a bat. <laughs> uh, we'll give him a bat. Don't worry. Okay. Arms. Vladdy Guerrero. Vladimir Guerrero Look gets the arm. Look at this guy, beast. We gotta add a bat in there or something. Beast mode. We'll do that. But it's kind of like right here. Since we're staying around the f the fielding, let's just stay around the fielding category here. Let's just move right on to fielding. We probably should just save one arm for fielding, huh? Yeah, probably. That's okay. Um, <laughs> so fielding, I'm, I'm going to say maybe we should agree on infield or outfield first. And before you – I'm going to change my selection from the last uh, from the last time. Okay. I I picked the guy that I picked the last time we spoke about this, but then I realized five-tool player of all time doesn't have to be the best. Like, it doesn't have to be Hank Aaron for home runs, right? Yeah. It's just the guy that has the skills, and we're putting them in one body. So I'm going to change my answer. If you'd like to go first, I'm – Yeah, for fielding, I think Adrian Beltre. Adrian Beltre? Yeah, I think the the left side of the infield is the hardest position to play, not just th third base, but shortstop and third base. Um, and Beltre was one of the best. Best arms, best fielders. I'm going Beltre. That's a good <clears> one. That's a good one. I wanted to change mine from the last time we spoke to – from Ozzie Smith – to Ken Griffey Jr. Bam, 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 bam. Wanna give it to Ken Kenny. Okay. But I can't argue with Adrian Butcher because I do think infield is harder. I've always made this argument that I think the infield is harder than the than the outfield. Well why don't we do like a quick uh fan graphs yeah. comparison. Maybe for their careers. Can you do that in fan graphs? Uh you can do anything on fan graphs. Again, fan graphs does not pay us, but I don't know how to help you out here. We're generous. Um, we're talking. Ken Griffey. As you see me reaching out here, I am not doing what you think I'm doing, guys. I am using the mouse. Just uh, wanted to make that clear. <clears throat> and I have a baseball down here. So <laughs> that's where I keep it, down here. <laughs> All right. So we could do some comparisons here really quick. We have the def their defensive rating. It breaks it up by, by position, though. But I don't understand any of these. Let's agree. Let's agree that Griffey's a center fielder. Yeah. And Adrian Beltre is a third baseman. Mm -hmm. According to Fangraphs, Ken Griffey was not a good outfielder. He was a negative 62.7. I'm pretty shocked by this. Your reaction tells me that other people will be shocked. They're saying his range wasn't very good, that his arm wasn't very can good. You, can you uh, get <laughs> well, He's angry, can guys. You just, can you just use the same uh, Seattle years? <laughs> the guy like, broke his leg. You know what? Can we check Javi Baez? I'm curious about this. Okay, uh, Adrian Beltre, two twelve point eight. You, you got you got him. You, you'll, 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 get, you'll get you'll get Adrian Beltre, man. Uh, Javier Baez, you want to? Yeah. See? yeah. Well, I wanted him, I wanted to compare him to. Oh. Beltre. 
because this is <laughs> also throw a Rod's name in there too, man. I'm curious about this. I'll click it. Well, oh. Rodriguez, Alex Rodriguez. Oh, okay, yeah. Here we go. Lord help this kid. Um, Alex Rodriguez, uh, shortstop, is uh, 38, and at third base, he's a six-point. He's a positive fielder all around. Javi but, Adrian, but, but not at the defensive. Oh, is this like a total? The def His defensive rating, Adrian Beltre's defensive rating at third base is a 212.8. For Alex Rodriguez at shortstop, 38 for third base, six point eight breaks it out, breaks it down. Yeah, defensive rating basically, Fangraphs gives them a final rating. Like this is what they're worth versus other players. So Adrian Beltre, man. Yeah. Fielding, like, you want to go body? Body. Okay. Okay, nice. So we'll we'll make the arms out. <laughs> we'll, put the, we'll place the arms back in when we're done. Okay. Let's get that body going, man. Let's go. Let's go find that body. I think this is a pretty good one right off the bat. Okay. Chocolate rain. <laughs> Just have to fill the space with something, man. You want to tell us a little bit about Adrian Beltre, CT? Uh, I remember when... Soccer style kicker? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when the Red Sox had Adrian Beltre for that for that short time, and he he beasted, man. I wonder why they let him go. I, I always thought that, that was a mistake on their part, to let someone like Adrian Beltre go. You know, teams make mistakes, Manny. <laughs> That's true. Teams make mistakes. What can I say? Uh... One of the greats, man. You know, I'm trying to see. I can't get my take my eyes off how this is gonna work. We're gonna, we'll, we'll make it work. We're gonna make it work, man. Adrian Beltre's body, and I know that, and I think he's honestly one of the most underrated players I think we're ever gonna see in a baseball field. Um, I think he's a Hall of Famer. I hope he gets in first ballot. Me too. He should. I mean. Should. The debate is always Beltre or Jeter. I think you have to go Beltre. Yeah. Personally. I mean. And I'm a Yankees fan. You didn't even have to say that, though. That's just like common sense. That's just like logic. Why does Jeter have five gold gloves? Because people didn't know. I'm willing to bet that. Because his fielding percentage is probably good. I got to see. I got to see what Jeter's. I bet his. I bet his. Defensive rating thing that we just looked at. I have to see what that is. I bet it's not good, man. I guarantee. I wonder how long the list is of five Gold Glove winner awarders. I said that so wrong. Mm -hmm. What is the <laughs> list of players who have won five Gold Gloves? Works for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this is great, man. This is just an, a work of art. Okay, works for me. Here Mo we go. Moving we on. Arm. I think we're let's let's leave power for last. Power for last. Okay. We got ourselves Vladimir Guerrero's arm. Adrian Beltre's fielding. What well, the the head will be contact? Is that what we agreed on? I think we said the head will be contact, but since contact <clears throat> is one of the fan favorite uh, attributes, so I say we go with speed. 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 Let's do speed. Speed, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Why don't you go first on this one, man? All right. So, like I said before, it's not about these all time grades. It's about I think it's more about all time talents. Okay. And for me, I have to go with Billy Hamilton for speed, Manny. Billy Hamilton, round of applause for the player who's only on a Major League Baseball roster because of his speed. Huh? All right. Then I'm going to go with, you guys aren't going to believe this one, but I'm going to go with the great Herb Washington of the Oakland Athletics. Herb, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to go with Ricky Henderson, man. Not only is Ricky Henderson one of the best speedsters of the game, he's one of the greatest players of all time, probably the greatest players player of all time. Are you saying that you want to go stat for stat? I'm down to go stat for stat, dog. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Billy Hamilton, Billy, man. Billy H. Um, wow, look at those power numbers. 56, and we're talking about in the modern, modern, modern te technology era where people don't steal baseballs anymore. People don't steal bases anymore. Mm. Um, I know he got caught stealing this a lot this year, but 56 stolen bases, 57, 58, 59, 34. That's still a lot. Uh, and honestly, he's not good. No. He's so he's only in the major leagues because he's fast. And and when I'm telling you that this guy's fast, just watch his highlights. Go on YouTube and watch the highlights of Billy Schlamilton. And maybe that's 
Well, he he's a starter, man. He's playing a hundred or more games every season. Yeah, but look at his OB, look at his on base percentage. A guy that fast with that kind of on base yeah. percentage is. So, and speaking of Herb Washington, I made a joke about him, but in the seventies, the A's would use him like a designated runner, and that's Billy Hamilton would be perfect for that. Thank you. No, um, well, yeah, you can't you can't mess with Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson might be the greatest of all time. Who isn't considered the greatest of all time? If that, if you can understand. Ricky Henderson is one of the rare talents that typically walks more than he strikes out. He has the record for stolen bases. He's a total bases machine because he gets on base a lot, then he steals a bag, then he he pretty much scores at will. And um, there's a lot of reasons why I think Ricky Henderson could be the greatest player of all time, but I'm going to save all those reasons for a separate video. Um, but for now, I, I don't see how you can pick Billy Hamilton over Ricky Henderson. Would you be upset as a manager that a player on your team got caught 42 times stealing? I feel like I would have something. And he That's 42 a, outs you're giving away. Yeah, and he stole 130 bases. That's the major. That's probably the major league record. Es- essentially, if you're calculating war, right, wouldn't that 42 outs, doesn't that equate to 54, almost two games worth of, of wins, essentially? Yeah, but it's just... It's like 130 bases. Yeah, is a lot. Mm-hmm. So he pretty much put himself. He pretty much put himself in scoring position. Let's say he was stealing first every time. He stole third a lot. Yeah. Um. But let's just. For Not the, really. For the he sake. only has well, 24 doubles. Well, even if he's stealing second, even if he's stealing third, that's he's putting himself in a better scoring position. But this guy put himself in scoring position 130 times. Yeah. So he basically created 130 runs. Yeah. Um. Still though, 42 times. That's a lot, man. That's hard. That's a hard pill to swallow, man. That's a hard pill to swallow. Okay. All right. Let's get let's get us some Ricky Ricky legs, as as they call them. Look at that form. Oh my God. I kind of want to use these. The aerodynamics. Get low. Normal swing. This this might be the best our best bet. Damn, Getty images is right in the middle. We're all, we're only taking his calves. I know, but the Getty images. Oh, he's we're going down. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. use it. Let's use yeah. it. Don't do this at home, guys. Technically, this picture is not suited for reuse, but we're only using the calves. So. <laughs> All right, Alex. Looks like you're about to be taken out of your kneecaps. Porter Fisher, <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that picture got in the way. Damn it. Come on, why? Pick monkey. You're going to make me a race. What am I, an animal? I mean, look at this guy. Don't you want to sign this guy to a multi you want a multi year contract? Do you think we should <laughs> 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 All right. Moving on. <laughs> wow. Contact? Uh let's go contact. Let's go contact. After after thinking after thinking it, I I know who you're gonna choose and I think this guy this guy gets My guy? Your guy will get the, the Well let's hear your arguments, man. Well I, I wanted to go with Ichiro Suzuki just because wow. I mean two hundred hits, I think like 10, 11 seasons in a row. I think he would have the hits record if they counted he, his j- j- Japanese record. Uh, I think he hits. would. I think he would have the hits record. Yes, and um, but then I then I start thinking it's it's not just about like total numbers. Like I said, there could be a better contact hitter than than Ichiro. Yeah. Like you can make the argument that Vlad was a better contact hitter because or he, Tony Gwynn. Guy, they put the bat on the ball more. I'm sure Trailers check out. Pretty sure there's yeah. Pretty sure there's a stat for that. But at the same the time, I, I heard a stat about Ichiro Suzuki today that af- after game 10, Ichiro, Suzuki, Ichiro Suzuki's batting average rose to 300 on game 10 of his entire career in the MLB, and it never went below that for the rest of his career that's again. A, that's an interesting stat. So what other what number more than contact, more I mean, than batting average is, you know, perfectly illustrates what a contact hitter is? I mean, they have those batted batted ball profiles now, right? Yeah. So, is it more about who gets the bat on the ball more or who hits the ball better? Because they track exit velocity now. So, is the better contact hitter the guy who averages a higher exit velocity at a? Let's say you have two guys that make the same contact 
Well, actually, that wouldn't make sense. But like, bat, what is it called? Barrels or whatever? Yeah. Is the better contact hitter the guy who barrels up the ball more often? Or is it the guy who just actually puts the ball in play more often? You know? Because mm. it, 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 is, it is a form of, of contact to, to barrel up the ball. So should we look at strikeouts? Like, who struck out least? No, no. I'm just saying that my argument for Ichiro was because he had he had so many hits. But, yeah. but would would a more – would a contact hitter who's equally as – not maybe not equally gets as many hits, but can barrel up the ball better than Ichiro since Ichiro didn't probably barrel up the ball as often as we yeah. think. You know, he had a lot of those infield singles. Yeah, Mo- mostly. That's mostly what he did was yeah, singles. Yeah. So that that was my only argument. We don't have to look up the profiles or anything, but I was gonna make an argument for. I I went back and forth. I went between uh, Ted Williams and um, Tony oh. Gwynn. Yeah, and I'm going with Ted Williams. And Just. I- just because I think he holds one of the records that will never be broken. Mm-hmm. He was the perfect hitter, but he also was a power hitter. So Yeah. And I and it's it's got to be it's got to be Ted Williams. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. So I can't argue. And it and it's it's also fair that the guy has his head frozen. So we're basically just going to borrow that head real quick. We're going to make head the contact. Wow. I didn't know where that was going and you just landed that so perfectly, man. That was great. Ted the Head Williams. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, God. oh man, let's give him. Let's. What year did he hit uh, four hundred? We'll, we'll we'll go with a younger. Let's year. take a guess here. While we, while you're searching here, what year do you think it was? Oh God, um, nineteen nineteen forty nine. Ooh, I was gonna go nineteen fifty. Let's see. Please, please let me be the winner. Wow, way off. 41. Who did he lose MVP to that year, man? He was 14. Wait. Oh, second. I was going to say he was 14. Joe Joe DiMaggio, man. Jolt and Joe. They (laughs) ripping those Red Sox fans off since the fucking 40s, man. Damn. That's a a robbery. I bet bet you it's because DiMaggio, they won the World Series that year. Sounds like a Welcome to the Show video needs to come to the rescue here and this Point is out the the biggest MVP robberies of all time. I think this one. Will this be is one of them. Hot. This is one of them. Definitely one of them. And your guys involved in one of them too. In two thousand and one, Ichiro was voted Rookie of the Year. Should have been Alex Rodriguez or Manny Ramirez or Jason. Could, could this be the year that Joe DiMaggio hit fifty six? Yeah, for fifty seven. I bet they won the World Series. I bet they took that I mean, into he account. Got, he got he got seven more first place votes. Insane. Wow. Wow. So it looks like he was a little younger in the day, so we can go with a younger pitcher. Okay. But I'll let you choose the picture and I'll crop it out. Uh, since A Rod's looking that in that direction, that's okay. Thank you for. Uh, Sorry, I just needed to confirm. One of the ones swinging in that direction. That's an awkward picture, isn't it? That's very. Awkward. They're very close together. It's like Ted Williams looking right into that guy's <laughs> ear, like. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. That's good. a good one. All right, here we go. So, guys, essentially, there's five tools. I've gotten three of them, so I already won. <clears throat> I didn't even know this was a win, win thing, thing, a link thing. <clears throat> Struggling there. Uh, <laughs> trying to figure out the best way to <laughs> remove the background. Man. Cut this. All right. <laughs> All right. Kind of hot in these rhinos. Time to get to a racing. <laughs> Wow. Here we go, guys. Here goes nothing. That's a big eraser. This guy's an expert, guys. He is a pro. Look at him go. You want some of that neck action, don't you? Oh. Nice, cleanly shaven Ted Williams. Oh, I got some of the hat there before. I'll just clip that off. Treat him with care. He's one of the greats. (laughs) (laughs) That's good enough. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Yes, this is the perfect hitter. No, he does not look perfect, but... Who is perfect? You know? Luis? 
The guy that's who's the guy whose face we just replaced. Look at that. My answer for every one of these questions was gonna be A Rod, but I knew you'd come with, with with stats, man. And I don't know. So far, no stats. I think. All right. I think this next one you're gonna win, but let's just yeah. go for it anyway. Yeah, fuck it. Sammy Sosa. Oh my God. Oh God, John. Sammy Sosa slamming Sammy Sosa. Yeah, man. The guy had had three seasons with sixty or more home runs. Yeah, you're it's right. It's never been done before, you know, and. And in that 1995 season, I think it was, he had like 42 home runs in like 120 games or some shit. 1990, no, 1994. Uh, no, that's not it. I mean, 1996. He had 40 home runs through 124 games. That that's easily 60 home runs in 162 games. So this guy, yeah. He I mean, did, he didn't lead the league in home runs with 66 home runs, 63 home runs or 64. Home and runs. he did not in, in neither of those seasons did he you already said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is this is my this is my I was going to say the same exact thing you said. <laughs> you, I, you were gonna say like and he never won the home run title. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> So even Mark McGuire was would have been a great choice too because yeah, Mark he, McGuire was hitting smashing baseball and it seems like that's all he did. Yeah, yeah. Is that who you were gonna go with? I'm going with Aaron Judge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. You said you were gonna change your mind on that. I right? know. I was gonna go Hank Aaron because I made a statement in one episode where I said that Hank Aaron is a compiler, and then we looked at his stats, and the guy was not a compiler. No, at no, all. no. Yeah, the guy hit. He hit a lot of. And I'm pretty sure that he hit during a time. Where pitchers were dominating, like wasn't yeah. he there in the fifties? Can we take a look at Hank Aaron real yeah. quick? And then when when did guys like Josh Gibson and Tom Seaver wasn't that around the same time that he was playing? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 50, so, 54, 76. So he did this essentially at a time when a lot of home runs weren't being hit. Nope. Um, but, but see, that's the that's the argument. Like before, like who's who gets the king? Who gets the crown for power is it the guy who totals more home runs or the guy who hits home runs at a higher rate yeah. or is it the guy who hit who averages a longer distance right. of home runs like Aaron Judge's Aaron Judge could just as easily be in that list I mean I do think that's it's the league's best home run hitter yeah when healthy should I have gone Hank Aaron can I switch you can do whatever you want but look I'm at this Bob Gibson same era as as a. Uh, as Hank, I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, I, and that that was like the year of the pitcher whole thing. So I think I'm gonna have to go Hank Aaron because I'm just I'm just thinking here in any other era, is he a eight, is he a 800 home run hitter? Like he's hitting 44 home runs in 1957 when, you know, pitchers were like probably yeah, it was like the lowest pitching ERA. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Hank Aaron. I'm switching from Judge to Aaron, man. Uh, but you know what? Like it's kind of hard to beat Sammy. 60 home runs three times. Yeah, but. There, of course, is that one thing that makes Sammy ineligible for a certain hall. Not here, man. Not, not here? Not here, no. You're saying that we can live in peace and agree Yeah. that Sammy was a prolific home run hitter? He was a prolific home run hitter who n never tested positive mm -hmm. when there was testing in, in MLB. His name was leaked in the anonymous yep. list, but who knows? So, how about we strike a deal here? All right. One thigh goes to Hank, one thigh <laughs> goes to Sammy. Put her there. That's how it's done, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Allow me allow me to grab Sammy's... Uh, grab Sammy's thigh real quick. I'm going to get Sammy's back thigh. You got his back thigh? All yeah, right. here we go. Sammy. Hank so Aaron, man. I'm telling you, we should make a video about that because I... Just by looking at his baseball reference sheet one day, I changed my mind. Like, what the fuck? Like, how is it that two days ago I thought he was a compiler? I just m misread the numbers, guys. I make mistakes. I'm human. And you're a numbers guy, too. If I Damn, I, get it, it, if I get hurt, do I not cry? I want to get a Sammy Sosa God, Getty, Getty images. Here we go. Of course, Sammy's tiny. Make him bigger, man. <laughs> uh. Welcome to the body, Sammy. Say goodbye to your knees. <laughs> and there it is. 
There it is, guys. Wow. It's a weird penis, I'll tell you. Wow. That. Wow. It's gonna be a weird penis. I mean. All right. I'm incredible. Let me. You sure? Yeah, man. I'll, I'll do Hank Aaron's. Yeah. Sure. Actually, this one's pretty good. That's a good one too. All right. You wanna do this or you sure. wanna? Sure. Which side am I doing? That side. This side. This side? Mm-hmm. Barry Bonds doesn't have one either. Barry Bonds. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. They didn't, they didn't show him any love. No love. <laughs> <laughs> no love, man. Don't worry. I'm going to erase it. I'm not going to take over your... No, that's fine. This guy is just... If this isn't the the perfect ball player here, I don't know what is. I may not what be. We, what we should do is get all the stats that they would have averaged, like for each position. Oh yeah. For each thing. It's a good idea. Look at this guy. Whoa. <laughs> there he is, guys. There's the perfect player you got. Ted Williams for contact, Vlad for arm, um, uh, Adrian Beltre the fielder. We got power, the power of Sammy and Hank. Wow. On both sides. On both sides. <laughs> and you got Ricky Henderson speed. Damn. Unbelievable. Should we add a bat? We should give him a bat. You're right. Um, while while CT's pu pulling up a bat, I'm going to ask you guys to leave us a comment with – any body parts you think we should switch if you think that we should switch the cons anything leave it in the com in the comments do you disagree with my Hank Aaron pick do you disagree with Luis's Ichiro Suzuki pick leave it in the comment section and while you're at it subscribe hit that bell so you never miss one of these episodes hit that like button damn this guy takes a long time finding a bat here we go and thanks for watching guys thank you as he puts this up this we could definitely speed up <laughs> wow a little bad huh like, <laughs> like one of those souvenir bats well if you think about it I mean he's swinging <laughs> in front of him <laughs> if you think you could do better guys prove it drop a video and link us in that video damn this little prick does the arms where <sighs> Actually, wait. I just need to put the arm in front of it. There we go. <laughs> wait. There, we there go. you go. <laughs> That's a weird way to hold oh, a bat. Oh, but man. now that Ted Williams. <laughs> there we go. That's it. That's our guy, man. That's our guy, man. I wouldn't trade him for the world. And he's got the heart of A Rod too. If you think about it, because we never talked about who, who had the best heart. <laughs> So he still has A-Rod's heart, all right? It's in there. It's <laughs> in there. Oh, man. All right, guys. Again, if you agreed, if you think you could do better, hit us up. Also, let us know if you want to see other videos like this. Man. Any suggestions, leave it in the comment section. We're always trying to grow, trying to improve our show. We take your feedback. So let us know how we did, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.